Today's topic is fibrinolytics. Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I am Dr. Sainaz Malek. Fibrinolytic drugs are lysis, the clot or thrombus formation. In response to injury, tissue plasminogen activating factors releases from the vascular endothelium and it bind. This tissue plasminogen activator bind to the fibrin bound plasminogen. This is fibrin, this is fibrin bound plasminogen. This tissue plasminogen activator bind the, with this plasminogen fibrin complex and convert into plasmin. Plasminogen convert into plasmin which degrade fibrin which break down the clot, blood clot. So, fibrinolytic are drug that lyses the thrombi rapidly by promoting conversion of plasminogen to plasmin and plasmin degrade the fibrin and rapidly dissolve the blood clot. Now, fibrinolytics are streptokinase, urokinase, altiplase, retiplase and tenectiplase are plasminogen activators. Uh, retiplase and tenectiplase are obtained from the DNA recombinant technology and they have longer plasma half-lives than the uh, altiplase. Tenectiplase required only single dose IV injection. Uh, it is more specific for fibrin bound plasminogen. Now indications of the fibrinolytics are an acute MI to restore coronary artery patency as alternative when reperfusion with the percutaneous coronary intervention cannot be done. It dissolves the clot by promoting the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin. It should be administered as, uh, as early as possible. Uh, once diagnosis is made, it will help to decrease the infarct size, improve left ventricular function and decrease mortality of the patient and uh, most effective if they are administered within one hour of onset of the symptoms. In deep vein thrombosis, thrombolytic help to provide symptomatic relief and improve limb perfusion and prevent pulmonary embolism. In pulmonary embolism, fibrinolytic are used to lyse the clot and improve pulmonary perfusion and right ventricular function. These are the various fibrinolytics like streptokinase, urokinase and ultiplase. So first is the streptokinase derived from the bacterial protein beta hemolytic streptococci. It is low fibrin specificity. It act uh, on the free as well as bound plasminogen and uh, its section is 30 to 80 minute and it is antigenic. So it's, it cannot be used repeatedly due to its antigenicity. So antibody can be produced and uh, this circulating antibody can destroy the uh, streptokinase uh, on repeated use. Fever, hypotension and arrhythmia are the side effect and bleeding tendency can occur and it is cheaper. And uh, second is the urokinase. It is an uh, uh, intrinsic compound isolated from the human urine or kidney cell culture. Its half-life is 10 to 15 minutes and it is non-allergic and uh, hypotension allergy are rare and bedding tendency is there. And it is costly. So costlier than the streptokinase. And ultipase is the uh, derived from the recombinant DNA technology and it is uh, highly fibrin specific. It is uh, act on the uh, bind to fibrin as well as uh, plasminogen as well as free circulating plasminogen. It is non-antigenic and uh, so half-life is 4 to 8 minutes short half-life given uh, followed by afterward heparin should be administered afterward. It is expensive and uh, it is more effective, less bleeding tendency. Fibrinolytic is uh, contraindicated in uh, some condition like uh, recent trauma, recent surgery, recent abortion, recent stroke and uh, severe hypertension, severe diabetes, severe liver damage, peptic ulcer and bleeding disorder. In these all condition, fibrinolytics are contraindicated. Now, antifibrinolytics, uh, it look the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin and inhibit fibrinolytic activity. Epsilon amino caproic acid is administered oral as well as intravenously. It is used mainly to control bleeding due to overdose of fibrinolytics. 
After tooth extraction or prostate surgery in the hemophilic patient, also be used in hematuria. And adverse effects are myopathy and muscle necrosis can be can occur. Now, various uh, antifibrinolytics are tranexamic acid. It is available oral as well as intravenous and topical administration. It is more potent than the EACA. It is used to control bleeding due to excessive fibrinolytic activity followed by tonsillectomy, prostatectomy, tooth extraction and menorrhagia. Side effects are nausea, vomiting and diarrhea and headache. Local hemostatics uh, meant only for the local application and used to stop uh, bleeding from oozing site, tooth, ex, uh, tooth socket, open wound and most of them provide network of fibrin which promote coagulation. Thrombin obtained from the bovine plasma when applied topically. Uh, it is uh, fibrin sealant are obtained from the human plasma and is even more uh, promising hemostatic and it is used to stop micro bleeding and oozing that often accompany dental procedure. Gelatin forms can be soaked with the saline fibrin or fibrin uh, thrombin to cover all packing bleeding surface. Vasoconstrictors uh, constrictors are uh, like uh, uh, adrenaline. It is temporary hemostatic to stop epistaxis. May be obtained by packing cotton goes with 1% uh, epinephrine or 0.5% oxymetazoline. Astringent are tannic acid. 1% is an effective hemostatic and it precipitate protein include thrombin. A Russell fiber venom act like a thromboplastin and applied locally to stop bleeding but it is rarely used. Thank you for watching the video.